G'day guys, my name is Matt, um, I'm here at Sunshine Leisure Centre. Uh, part of what we're doing uh, through this closure period is making sure that the lifeguards are, are adequately trained and are ready to go whenever we get that the call up to open the centres again. Uh, and therefore, if something was to happen to, heaven forbid it happened to, to any of you guys whilst you were here, the lifeguards can respond uh, as, as necessary. So part of what I'm gonna do today is go through part of the lifeguard training that we're going through with all the staff. Um, and that's how to complete a primary assessment, uh, doctors A, B, C, D. All right, so we'll get straight into to what the lifeguards complete as part of their role. Um, first thing, if they, they are down um, here at the leisure centre and they see someone that's uh, suddenly collapsed on the side of the pool, they would go through and they check for dangers. All right, so that danger could be anything from a chair, uh, it could be another pat a patron or a, a visitor to the centre that's causing harm, whatever it might be. Uh, but they need to remove dangers first and foremost for themselves because they can't respond if there's an issue uh, obviously to themselves as, as a first aider or a lifeguard. Um, and then they need to go through and uh, make sure obviously there's no dangers for other patient, patrons and also uh, the, the patient obviously. So um, once they've deemed there's no dangers, they then go through uh, and go through and check for response. So to do a response, we go down and we uh, squeeze both hands all right, so can you hear me? Open your eyes, squeeze my hands. The lifeguards would um, double check that that is a, a, either a voluntary response. Um, if it's deemed that they're not responding at all, we're going to the next step, which is sending for help. All right, so the lifeguards would call, hey, hey, lifeguard A, lifeguard B, I need your assistance. Can you please call the ambulance? All right, it's critical that that ambulance gets called. Um, chain of survival, um, first and foremost, is making sure that um, we get early access but also completing CPR and getting emergency services on the way as soon as possible. All right, so send for help. We've got the ambulance called. We need to get straight into checking airways. So part of the lifeguard's role is to roll the patient onto their side into a recovery position. Checking for airways. You might be able to notice something obstructing their airways visually, potentially, um, through the mouth, um, potentially through their nose as well. Um, but the lifeguards would be checking the whole time to make sure that um, they can see rise and fall of the chest uh, with that too. So airways, uh, they've noticed they can't see anything, but the patient's still not responding. So we need to check to make sure they're, if they're breathing properly or they're not breathing at all, all right? So holding the chest, hold for 10 seconds. Now, you, now the lifeguards have to check, check for 10 seconds because that is deemed to be either breathing normally or not breathing at all, all right? So that's what the lifeguards are checking. Rise and fall of the chest. Look, listen, feel, out of the mouth. No, nah, they're not responding. The lifeguards are rolling back onto their, onto their back. And this is where the lifeguard would start their compressions. All right, so as a lifeguard, they have a pocket mask that would protect themselves from making any contact with the patient. So they would complete two rescue breaths. So over the mouth it goes and they complete two rescue, uh, rescue breaths, which could dislodge any water that's causing any blockages, um, but we go through and do two rescue breaths. Next thing uh, that the lifeguards do is come and do compressions. In the center of the chest, completing, completing 30 uh, compressions, all right? And I won't go through all of this, but they continue to do that until they get further assistance. Um, and then also, as soon as possible, you can be calling out for someone's assistance once it's deemed, the lifeguards deem that uh, this person needs to have further medical attention as soon as possible. They also grab the defib and set that up, all right? That's part of a critical piece of the lifeguard's equipment is to put the defib on. All right, guys, that's part of what the lifeguards will be doing for this closure period. Um, hope, to, hope to see you all soon. Thanks, guys.